Okay. What I've got there is I've set it to maximum throttle and that's maximum rudder. And obviously minimums down there. Now what I've got just so I can explain to you which one's which is this bottom one here right, is the um, the gate and this one here is the drain right, now that's with a 470 ohm resistor to ground okay that's zero throttle well this is on the tail so um, that's increasing the tail at almost oh, I don't know it's probably up about five percent of throttle and that's increasing up to maximum there now sorry that's maximum it, it almost flat lines at the end there or it does flat line um, so we've got a, 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 a complete range there it's hard just trying to drop it right down okay so that's at about mid mid stick mid throttle mid rudder All right so halfway point it's about right from uh, yeah the start of the cycle there to the to the end um, this is on five microsecond uh, division per division so 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 microseconds uh, from start to finish uh, so that's that's my range input there is 40 microseconds across that that length um, the channel one which is the um, what have I got as channel one sorry I'm just trying to remember uh, channel one's the 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 gate and both are at two volts per division. Exactly two volts per division. I'm just ensuring that's set correctly. So it's two volts per division. So it's you know up at about 3.8 volts, and about the same there. So um, both. Both are at uh, two volts division, uh, and it's five microseconds, and that's the waveform I have to play with. Um, so again, that's that one there is the output or the positive side of the actual um, motor connector where I'm taking the PWM uh, output. Now I'll just increase the voltage here to 4 volts and I'll drop it down to well that's 2.0, that's 3 volts right there so I'll bring it up to 3.7 that's 3.7 there 